Hi everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back. Today I'd like to show you the things that I finished up in the month of March. Yes, in March. And it's been a crazy weather this weekend here in North Texas. On Friday, beautiful day, beautiful day. Sunny, be outside, then Friday night comes and a cold front comes rolling in. We had hail, thunderstorms, I think there was a tornado watch. And Saturday, yesterday, the high was 37 degrees. <laughs> it was cold. I had to bring out my jacket. My goodness, I thought we were done. And today, Sunday, it's still kind of chilly. They said it was going to be a high of 70. I do not see that happening, so I brought out my sweater. <laughs> and it's a cloudy day outside, but... We're gonna have fun today and show you what I finished up. All right, let me go ahead and show you my basket of trash. Here it is right here. And there are some few items in here that I didn't finish. I just couldn't finish them. I couldn't even give them to my husband to try. So, <laughs> you know. Well, let's get to it. Let me show you the first thing here. My One of my favorite things. It's so nice that I still keep it in its box. <laughs> this is the May Lindstrom the problem solver. This is a mask. Let me go ahead and show you the jar. It's a mask, but it comes in a powder form. Here's the jar. Here's what the jar looks like. Pretty good sized jar. I believe you get eight, eight and a half ounce of product in here. And again, it's a powder and it becomes activated when you mix it with uh, water. And I use this in the morning. It's supposed to clean out your pores, brighten up the face, and it has a warming effect on there, and it also has some vitamin C, which is a stable form of vitamin C in here that gets activated when the water is added to it. Let me open it and smell it here. Ah, oh, it smells so good. It has cacao in there, salts, that's where the warming salts come in. I believe it has frankincense, nutmegs, nutmeg, and cloves in here. Mm. I just love this mask. Now the directions does say to use one tablespoon of this product and mix it with less than one tablespoon of water. That is a little too much for me. I mean, I find it where I can just take it all the way down my chest and, and whatnot. What I find to be just enough for me is one teaspoon of product, one teaspoon, and I put in one teaspoon, a little bit less than one teaspoon of water. And that is really enough to cover my face and my neck. And maybe not so much my decollete area, but just enough for my face and neck. And that, you know, it lasts longer that way because this product right here cost $100. And I did get a backup of this. And what I like about May Lindstrom products, she makes them in small batches. It's an indie brand. She uses all natural products. They're cruelty free. Most of them are vegan. And if you noticed here on the bottom, it has like a birth date. Let me get my glasses here real quick. So in this jar, this was made fresh in May of 2017. So you can see right here, made fresh May of 2017. I do believe I got this maybe in June. So it's lasted me quite a while. You know, I probably use it once, once a week, maybe twice, depending on my mood. But... And again, and I use one teaspoon, not one tablespoon of what the direction calls for. But again, I already have a backup and I'm, I love using this product. I love it, love it, love it. Enough to where I keep the box. <laughs> okay, I have a couple of toners here. I have one by Huxley. Okay, I'm gonna need my glasses here. This is the Secret of Sahara, the toner extract it. And here is comes in a really nice glass jar. This one smells so good. It, it's a jasmine scent, and I believe that this has the prickly cactus pear. Now, I don't know if you've tried a prickly pear before or a cactus pear. I have, and we really like it. You just need to be careful because it is a cactus, so it does have thorns in here. You know, the prickly pear, it grows on top of the flat surface of the cactus, and that's, that's the fruit that you eat. You have to be careful because it does have some stingers in there. Yes, I did get stung, not stung, but it's like a hairy thorn, I guess you could say, and that hurts. And it's small, it's 
it's micro size, so you really have to get my glasses and a magnifying glass and a light to, to try to get it out. And, and how we eat it, you know, you have to be careful when you pick it from the store. I use like one of those plastic bags and I grab it with the plastic bag because I don't want that feeling again. <laughs> when you take it home, again, hold it with a towel and just cut it and peel it. And the inside, it's very sweet and very juicy, but it does have hard seeds in there and it's edible, you eat it. It tastes really good, I really like it. It's a good summer fruit. So they extract that and they put it in here and I really like the feeling of, of this toner because this is a Korean skincare brand. So yes, I would like to get this back again. The next toner here is by Sunday Riley. I'm gonna keep my glasses on here. And this is the Mattifying, Melton, the Mattifying Melting Water Gel Toner. I really like this, and I already have a backup of this one. This one, it's great if you have oily skin, if you break out, acne prone skin, that's what I have. You know, I'm oily right here and I do break out. And this mattifies the oiliness in your skin. And it comes out as a gel, but when you pat it on your skin, it, it turns into a liquid, I guess you could say. And I like the smell, and I really like this. I really do like this. All right, I have two glycolic pads here. I have the Kane Austin, the 30%. I like this one. And the Peter Thomas Roth, the Unwrinkle Peel Pads. This one is okay. I like this one more. And when I find a sale, I'd like to get this again. But it will be after I finish. I have the Dr. Dennis Gross. I'm still finishing that box, so that will have to wait. So this one will have to wait. This one was nice, but... I think the 30% glycolic acid in this one is better. Okay, I have, a, I guess everything is coming in pairs today. This is by Fresh and this is the Sugar Face Polish. I have the full size and the travel size. And I did get a backup of this. It was in, I didn't show it in my haul because it was a repurchase. So that's when I got it. And this is like my second or third jar. And I did finish this, I think in the beginning of March. So I went in and got my travel one and there's a little bit left in here so I went ahead and used this to finish it. It has that citrusy smell. Mm, it smells so good. But yes, I use this in the shower, you know, to scrub my face, to make my face feel clean because I don't want to use a loofah sponge to clean my face. But yes, I did repurchase this. Okay, I finished a packet of the Sushado cotton pads and I'll be getting more of this. I'm finishing my backup right now but during the Sephora sale that's going to be happening this week, and I'll list the information down below if I don't make a video of it, but I'm going to pick up some more of these during the Sephora sale. Let me go ahead and show you my sheet masks here. Let's see here. I finished some Shiseido, the Benefiance, the Retinol eye, eye patches. And here are most of them right here. Of course, you know, I won't go through them all. I have the Rodeal. That's a nice one. It's a little bit pricey, but I like this one. Several masks from the Korean skincare, Tony Moly. Um, this one's a really nice one. This one comes like in two two parts here. This one down here on the bottom, it's uh, a serum, and then you put the mask that that was in this part over it, and it feels so good. A couple of the Florapy, Dr. Jart, another one by Tony Moly. I like this one. Kind of cute. <laughs> and one by 111 Skin. I believe this one was in a beauty box, I believe. And Star Skin. Love my sheet masks. Okay, I finished a rice makeup wipe. Okay, another thing in twos, two eye gels. This one is the, okay, I need to get my glasses back on. This one is by Dr. Dennis Gross. This is the Ferulic and Retinol Triple Correction Eye Serum. Let me tell you a story about this one. This one here, when I first started getting into my skincare and I was searching on things how to get rid of the crepiness on my eyelids and this this popped up and this was over two years ago and I've been using it since. I really do see a smoothing or maybe just some hydration and with the retinol product that's in here I really like this and I will be continuing using this. I have a backup and when I'm running low on that one when I see that there's a sale I will be getting another one of this one. Yeah, I really do see a difference when I use this one. The other one here is by Skin Cuticles. Wow, I can't see that. This is the AOX Eye Gel. I really like this one. I use this one in the morning, and I like to use the Dr. Dennis Gross in the evening. Yes, and both of those, I do have backups of those. 
Okay, let me show you my samples here. This is the Fresh Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask. I finished this one. I don't know if I'll be getting this one. And here is the travel size of the Dr. Dennis Gross, the uh, Retinol and Ferulic Eye Serum. The Tatcha, the water cream. You know, this one on me, it's not my favorite, but I did try it. Yeah, I probably won't be getting the full size of this one. This is by Drunk Elephant, the Vitamin B Hydra Instant Hydration Still a Gel. And I have I do have the big size of this one. And of course the Dr. Dennis Gross, their uh, glycolic pads. And another item here by Fresh, this is the Lotus Youth Preserve Rescue Mask. I did get this, um, I did get the big size of this one. I really like this one. Okay, most of the things here are pretty much sample sizes. Okay, of course, my La Mer, the little travel size. I finished two of these. This is the, the soft cream. Yeah, I know I do have several of the, uh, the small ones because I do get them as gift with purchase. And pretty much I use these. I haven't bought the big size of this one in a while. I know pretty soon I will because I will run out of these. I'm hopefully not. <laughs> but La Mer. All right here. And then this one here is Jose Marin. This is the Whipped Argon Oil Face Butter. I really like this. I really do like this. You know, I do have another one of this in this size. So whenever I finish this... I would like to get a big size of this one. This one, it feels good on the skin and it just hydrates it and I just like the feel of the argon oil on my face. I like that one. And then this one here, it is this Korean skincare brand. It's Ma Mound. I believe that's what it's called. Let me show you that. And this is the Locust Micro Cleansing Foam. I really like this. Again, when I go to the the area that sells Korean skincare in Dallas. I'd like to pick up the Huxley. I'd like to pick up a couple more of those sheet masks. And I'd like to pick up this uh, cleanser. This one, it doesn't dry out your face and you just need a pea size amount. And it, it is a foam, so it does, it will foam up, but it leaves your face squeaky clean. But it doesn't dry it out. I hope that makes sense. So I'd like to get this one again. Let's see here, another one by Skin Cuticles, the Triple Lipid Restore 242. A little travel size of this one. I like this one. I have the big size of this one. And this one here is the Natura Bise, the Essential Shock Intense Cream. I have a sample size of this. I don't have a big size of it. I just like the sample size. I don't think I'll be getting the big size of this one because it is kind of pricey, but I do enjoy using it. Okay, another thing here by Fresh. This is the Sugar Lip Treatment. This one, this is my second time to use this, and I won't be repurchasing this one because I like the Sarah Hat one better. And plus, I don't know if they make this anymore or not because I did search it on uh, Nordstrom, but I didn't see it. But yeah, it was nice while it lasted, but I like my Sarah Hat one better. Okay, a couple of razors here to, you know, shave that unwanted hair on my face by Tinkle. These are by Tinkle. A few makeup items here. We have two mascaras. One's by Lancome. This is the, I'm going to try to read it, the, eye, the High Definition Mascara. Probably won't be repurchasing that one. The They're Real by Benefit. I like this one. I think I do have a backup of this one. And two liquid eyeliner pencils. I guess they're not pencils. The two liquid eyeliner. The two liquid eyeliners. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to speak here. One is by Kat Von D, the tattoo liner, and the other one's by Ico. Yes, by Ico. These, I probably won't be repurchasing these. Actually, I think I got this in a uh, subscription box, and this one I did repurchase, but I think I like the J-Cat Beauty better. So I won't be repurchasing this one at least, and if I get another one of this one, I will use it, but I won't be re I won't be buying them. Now that's all of my empties. I do have a couple of items here that just did not work out for me, and they're both cleansers. And I'm not knocking them or anything. I'm just saying that they didn't work for me on my skin type. And it pains me to say this. This is by May Lindstrom, and this is the Pendulum Potion. I tried to like this. I mean, there's still some in here. 
I couldn't finish it. It was a little too greasy for me. I do like the smell, I do like the smell, but it was just too oily for me and too oily on my face and it was just not a pretty picture. And I hate not liking a product, especially from a brand I like, but I think that's good because not everything from a certain brand you like, at least that's happened with me. And you may like this, which is great, but for me and my oily skin and how I use it, it just didn't work out. And I am so sorry, May. I am so sorry. I do love all your other products, but this one just didn't cut it for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> and another cleanser. This one, I know it's a cult favorite. It's by Pixie, and this is the Nourishing Cleansing Balm. This one was another greasy mess on me. I mean, I don't know if you can see. I've, I've tried using it several times. It was just, no, it just didn't work. And even, I don't know if you can kind of see, there's like big chunks of, you know, product in there that just doesn't dissolve. And it doesn't come with a cleansing cloth, which is okay because I have some that I can use. Even with a cleansing cloth, it just didn't work out. And also it does leave like a film over my eyes. There's certain cleansing balms that will do this, and this one did. Again, I am sorry. I'm not knocking the brand. I'm just not, I'm just, how should I say, that this product just didn't work out for me. And that what makes us all unique. Not everything works for everybody. I hope that makes sense. Not everything would work for everybody. Yeah. All right. All right, you guys, those are my empties. Those are what I finished for the month of March and a couple things that just didn't work out and it is what it is. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.